I started freelancing almost 10 years ago, I was winging every single project. I had no plans, just complete chaos. And through this near decade of building a freelancing career, building an agency, building a product, I now have a pretty decent flow and plan that I'd like to share you guys for free. First, we're gonna go through the proposal, then we're gonna go through the discovery, then onboarding, design revisions, and finally the wrap up. Now, this is a minified version of my course, Freelance with Confidence. And I'm doing this to show you guys in case you're interested, of course, but I wanna give it to you for free as well in case you can't afford it. So the course will have everything more in depth. But anyways, let's take a look at the proposal. This is what we send to clients and this is a real life proposal that closed us a $30,000 project. Now this is something that we will export and send it to them and present it to them in person if possible but usually just over Google. So this is a project that we recently concluded, so I'm happy to share it. Antarctica 21 is a previous client of ours where we did the design for, and then we handed it over for development. So this is a project that was recently published, so you guys are free to check out the actual finished site, but it was a collaboration with another agency where of course they did the development. Just to get started, we have a little index for the project itself, a little explanation about what we do, who we are, all this stuff, and then we have a small introduction about kind of like why us explaining um you know we won that award right there and so i'm just showing it in a very nice uh little illustration that i made then we've got some examples of our work some previous stuff that we did some super high detail screenshots i love this project that we did some other projects done by some crew members tile bit of course was a massive project and other other projects that, that we've done. Then we've got some projects from them. Then this is us explaining what's actually gonna happen within the project timeline. So we've got brand strategy, discovery and research, audit, uh, UI UX, which is just design, uh, web app design, it's because there is the design of the site itself, then the web app, the development, WordPress transfer, and then launch and training. So all in all around 16 weeks, and I'm pretty sure the project went way over that, but anyways. Let's take a look at what else we've got down here. So I really like this because it allows us to visualize with the client what's actually gonna happen. So it just goes more into depth with each and every stage. And then we've got a final proposal for them, who's involved in this, me and the other founder, Dylan Harrox, who's a super nice guy. But yeah, happy that we closed on that. Yeah, we made it happen, which is fantastic. Now pretend that we close this client and we're going on to the next stage, which is gonna be the actual discovery call. Okay, so now that we have the proposal done and they've accepted and all that we have a deposit as well make sure you have a deposit and a contract all that good stuff we finally go in to the actual discovery now this isn't the actual file but it's a pretty similar one in a generic format about what we would be asking them so just simple general questions that we can ask them like phone numbers and all the stuff that we actually need to keep and then we go into a little bit about them the vision that they want why they want to redesign why they want a redevelopment and really get to know the actual pain points about them because sometimes in this stage you'll discover a lot that the client didn't even know like for example they might actually be embarrassed about their site and this that's happened to us a lot of times where the clients don't realize that the only reason they want to do it isn't necessarily to make more money or do whatever it's just that you know compared to their competitors they look a little bit more bland or less professional or whatever um, and then you go through company tones core values locations similar brands that they like all that kind of stuff um, the, their USP just generic kind of questions to understand them a little bit more. This is also where you might want to start getting access to their either Webflow or WordPress or whatever and start to understand how they've built it, where necessarily all their stuff is hosted so you can really start to dig deep in their project. And this is just understanding everything there is to know about them. You're not going to go and start designing right away, just like you wouldn't go to the doctor and they'd start diagnosing you before you even say anything. You need to understand what's wrong with them, why they're here, and all that. Think of yourself as a doctor, and then the kind of design world makes a lot more sense. So once or before even you have done the discovery stage, it's important to onboard them into your Slack or email or whatever, and a lot of people don't have a hub necessarily where you need to host them. You don't necessarily need to. Email is fine most of the time, but it's good to have a place that clients feel where you have a professional setting and not just WhatsApp or 
Twitter DMs or whatever. And sometimes that's completely fine. I mean, I've worked with people like that before, but I like to have them in a Notion or something like that. And I've done videos about the Notion before, so I'm just gonna link it up here. So I don't actually repeat myself there, but it's there if you wanna take a look. Then comes the actual design, and I'm gonna do a specialized video on the design that we did for that project that I showcased in the earlier part of the video. So let me know if you wanna see that, but I wanna show you guys a much simpler project for this video. And usually what we'll do is that we'll take all the discovery stuff, the inspiration, we'll do a massive mood board with them, we'll explain everything that there is to do with the project, and then we'll start with low fidelity wireframes. Because I own a UI library, this is very easy for us and very fast, but I'm gonna give a link to Tilebit in the description if you guys want access to it, there's a discount going on right now. We'll usually do a couple different versions of the low fidelity. We'll start off with just the layouts so we understand you know, what we're redoing, and this usually helps the client see that their spacing is off and all that. And then we'll add in the copy and the imagery as well. And then finally, we'll go into high fidelity where we can really take a look at everything else that is going on here. So we'll do multiple different versions, we'll work with them, we'll maybe do some mock-ups, we will do some copy changing, and this is where you can get very deep. In this case, we also did a rebrand, which was nice. And we can see the change overall that we achieved from before and after. This wasn't the before, this is just one of the versions that we did. But anyways, it's important to have a limit on revisions as well. You don't wanna just be going on and on and on unless you have a retainer with them. In that case, keep going or you're getting paid hourly. But if you have a fixed price, then it's important to have in the contract how many revisions you're gonna be doing for that set amount just so you don't get run into the dirt. And that kind of concludes the entire process. Now it goes very deep into this process. And so that's why I created the course. So you guys can actually understand every little step of the way. And I can go much deeper than I can on YouTube because of time and all that. So once I had this system, everything felt a lot clearer for me. It felt a lot more calm. And that's why I wanted to share it with you guys apart from the course. I just wanted you guys to understand that freelancing doesn't need to be super duper stressful. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want access to the course, I'm going to leave a link in the pinned comment. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.